Hey, good afternoon, everyone. So, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> Just thought I'd uh, uh, jump on and do a very quick video. Um... And uh, just sort of finish up the, uh, you know, the rest of the year with a, like a late, like I say, a little bit of a, um, uh, a little bit of a recap on everything that's gone on. Um, feeling a little bit hoarse today. Uh, not been feeling too great the last few days. I knew this would happen really. Um, had a massive year. I've not, I've not really been ill at all this, uh, this year at all. Um, and now. Two weeks off and then all of a sudden you get ill. So um, the rest of the family's at it as well. So it's not feeling too great at the moment. But I thought I'd do this little video just to have a, a little bit of a um, a recap of everything that's sort of gone on this year. Um, we've had a cracking year. It's been absolutely great. We've had, you know, gradings. Um, you know, we've had uh, new equipment. We've had, um, you know, new kit. We've had different seminars, you know, we've had our, our uh, excuse me, I've got a list here, so obviously I'm going straight through this list, right? Um, like I said, there's been loads of stuff, you know, we've had a, a couple of Kumite seminars this year as well, which have been really cool, 100 rounds of Kumite, which has been great. Uh, we've had endless gradings this year that everybody's achieved, you know, new belts. Um, it might be the fact that, you know, you've, you've achieved a, a certificate or an award, um, at the end of the year, which has been, you know, which has been really nice. Um, excuse me, I will need a drink. Um, like I say, we've, we put on loads of different things to, you know, help the quality of things this year. We put on extra training sessions, uh, for different grades, um, to help them progress. Um, and again, that is definitely, you can definitely see the, the quality of that, um, has definitely improved by putting those extra training sessions on. So, you know, at, at some point throughout the year, again, we may do exactly the same again, um, you know, just to sort of help those uh, help those out that may need it. Um, you know, the further you go, the harder things get. So it might take some of you a little bit longer this time round to get a, uh, to a, um, achieve an award or achieve a new belt. However, you just got to keep sticking with it and keep pushing forward. Um and we'll try and help you the best that we absolutely can. You know, it's obviously within our interest to make sure that you guys are being pushed to the absolute maximum that you can be pushed forward to, um, to make sure that you get to where you want to be, you know. So, uh, um, so yeah, so basically we put, put on these extra free sessions as well. Um, you know, we've managed to, uh, you know, do really well. And we've, um, as a club, we've progressed that much. We've grown massively. We've had new students coming in, which means, you know, the revenue has come in and we've managed to invest, you know, a fair amount of money this year in lots of different things. So um, we invested nearly £2,000 worth in uh, black and yellow uh, mats for the Shinfield Dojo. Uh, we've also spent nearly £400 on a... Um, uh, a brand new shed for Shinfield as well to store the mats in. Um, loads of new equipment. I think I spent, oh, it must have been seven or eight hundred pounds on new kick shields as well. Um, and again, that just helps everything out that we do. So you have, you have more variety. You know, you, you start to get to do groundwork. You start to get to, you know, striking on the kick shields and stuff like that. You know, if we never had any equipment at all, you know, the, uh, you know, the karate itself would be very boring because it would be just that, that same thing of, you know, doing the same drills, you know, day in, day out. At least with having this, you know, having the equipment that we have with the mats and the shed and the, you know, the kick shields and all the other stuff that we've, we've purchased this year. Um, it just helps our ability to, you know, to be able to move forward in our art that we're doing. So, um and again, that wouldn't be possible if it wasn't obviously for you guys, you know, sticking with it and keep pushing forward. Um, you know, uh, we've had fates. Um, <coughs> Alder Grove School, been over to Alder Grove School and done a couple of fates over there this year. Um, we've had open day over at Shinfield as well. We had sports days, um, which was really cool. We've had our Mother's Day, Father's Day trainings as well, which has been great. Um, that was nice to uh, get a few people in for that as well. Um, it, we're, like I said, I believe we ended up getting in, I think it was about f three or four students, I think it was, from the um, 
for the Father's Day one, I think it was. So as soon as they got those guys came in and started training with their kids, they was like, oh, yeah, I'll do this. So that was nice to see. Um, we've had the introduction, obviously, again, to our new branded equipment. So new branded equipment, meaning our gloves and our shin and instep protectors and, and everything else, you know. We've got T-shirts, hoodies, and all the other stuff that we've had come in as well. So obviously, again, the busier, the, the busier we get, the less... I, you know, I, I start to think about, right, I don't have the time to be able to do all the T-shirts now. So, you know, part passing that else to someone else to be able to do that, you know, is obviously taking a, a big weight off of our shoulders. And then we can concentrate on something else, um, which is cool. Um, we've had um, Ian Abernethy seminars this year as well. So, excuse me. Um, so, again, not necessarily too much for the younger children. Um, but we've had uh, two seminars with Ian. So we had a, a, um, a throws, takedowns and lock seminar um, early, part of, early part of 2022. Um, and with that one, we raised £900 for a charity called Linking Lives. Uh, and this is a charity that Ian, uh, which is very close to Ian's heart. Um, and basically his fee... Um, his fee that, uh, you know, he normally would take, that was uh, donated, sorry, we, you know, we donated that to his charity called Linking Live. So, uh, so we've had that. So that's, that has been really cool. Um, we've had our, uh, we've had the birth of our grandchild. So since they just gave birth to little Bonnie, um, in October. So that was really cool. Um, so we've had a, a new, uh, a new mascot for the club, which is really nice. Uh, and again, being a, being a grandparent now, it's just sort of, uh, you know, totally changed life um, and the way that you sort of see things now. So uh, so that's lovely and beautiful. Um, we've also had Black Friday deals. We've had, you know, uh, extra training sessions as well with some different clubs. I've gone out and, uh, you know, I did um, a few training sessions with Canton Martial Arts. I went and did a four day training with Ian. Um, and the residential course with Paul and Kieran as well. Uh, that was that was very impressive. Really happy with that as well. Um, and then obviously then, you know, uh, I think it was last Saturday, I think it was, you know, we had our, you know, our black belt grading. So I'm really glad that we had it last weekend and not this weekend because I'm feeling rough as hell now. <coughs> um, but like I say, you know, our, our five and a half years of running, um, you know, these guys started back at uh, White Belt because they came across from another club where they were, you know, um, they were sort of over over Black Belt in, in another style. And they came back uh, and they came to train with us uh, from White Belt. And five and a half years later, um, you know, they've gained a showdown in uh, our style. So, um, so for that, uh, the guys did absolutely amazing uh, the day was absolutely brilliant. We had the awards night in the evening as well, which was really cool. Um, there was a few people that got awards that, that evening as well from the different classes that we run. Um, absolute, absolutely brilliant. You know, the year has been fantastic. We've achieved so much. You guys have achieved so much too. Um, you know, however however big or small that win was for you, whether it's, uh, you know, whether it was a, you know, a small goal that you decided to set, whether it was a big goal that you decided to set, you know, and you achieve that, then great. If you didn't achieve it, you know, maybe ask yourself why, you know, is there something maybe more you could have done? Is there something more that we could have done? If so, we can, you know, we can sit down and have a chat, um, you know, and discuss that in the new year and see what we can do. And, you know, about progressing forward. I've got something big coming up for myself at the beginning of the year as well, which I'm really looking forward to. Um, I'm not discussing that too much as of yet. Um, but uh, like I say, I'm, I'm really looking forward to get, get going in, in the new year. Uh, we're going to hit the ground running. Um, you know, things things next year, we're going to be well on top of things next year. Um, you know, we're like I say, with the, uh, we've got a new booking in system, a new app system that's going to be Fingers crossed, we'll be up and running by the end of January. Um, I've got Tony at the moment just uh, you know, working on a few bits on that as well. We've got a, a couple of extra trainings to do on that with uh, a company at the moment uh, that we're organised with. Um, again, it's one of those things that we've, inve we've invested on a monthly direct debit uh, for this particular system. So fingers crossed, it's going to work the way that we want it. It tracks gradings, birthdays. 
um, you know, any awards that, that, you know, some of you may get, um, you know, life skill programs that we've had. And I do appreciate, you know, we, we, you know, at the back end of this year, we've sort of uh, overlooked that. We've had so much that's been going on. And I know that's obviously, you know, uh, not the, you know, the correct way of obviously working it. However, I had to, you know, come up with a thing of like, right, right, something needs to, we need to sort of um, have a look at where we can just sort of save a little bit of time. And that was the only way that I could sort of save a little bit of time was to um, just sort of overlook that for a, for a little bit. And I know, like I say, I know that's not the idea of the ideal situation. However, we've had so much going on uh, where we've just sort of had to sort of cut, cut back on a little couple, you know, a couple of little things just to sort of move forward again. Um, so next year, we're going to be right on top of it. Really looking forward to the progression next year. Like I say, we've got a new program that I'm going to introduce next year as well. So this is going to be really cool for, um, you know, ladies and gents. Um, it's not necessarily for the children. It's going to be for ladies and gents. Um, it's going to be a uh, combat defense class uh, that we're going to have a look at. There's going to be a lot of stuff that's going to be added into that. And again, that's going to be happening sort of within the new year. Might not necessarily be within the first, uh, you know, the first or couple of weeks of Jan. It may be at the end, depending on how things go. But obviously, keep an eye out for that. Um, thank you very much for your loyalty, your support. Whether it's just you guys coming and bringing the children to class. Whether it's, you know, you guys coming along and, you know, um, supporting the children within their, their karate journey. Their gradings, you know, and you guys sharing stuff on Facebook. You know, you don't know how much that helps, you know, the club progress and get better at, um, you know, the marketing just by you going, oh, look at, excuse me, look at such and such, look what they've done today. Um, but yeah, so thank you Matt, very much for the loyalty, your support, you know, and um, just being you. Uh, from myself, uh, Chrissy, Jess, Harv, Bonnie and Kieran and Casey as well. Uh, we just want to wish you guys a very Merry Christmas. Um, you know, spend loads of time with your family over Christmas. Uh, do give a little bit of time for those that may not be here anymore. Um, you know, remember them, you know, even if you just set a place at the table uh, for someone that you may have lost this year, set a place for them, you know, and have a little prayer or whatever it is you guys want to do. Um, but yeah, have a great Christmas and a very happy new year. And we'll see you guys on the 4th of Jan for our very first class back. Uh, and it's going to be a great year next year. So really looking forward to it. Anyway, from me to you, take it steady, guys, and we'll see you after Christmas. Thanks very much. Bye bye then.